I broke my e-bike. I had my curse key for, for some time now. It was time to replace the brake pads because I use it a lot. I, I ride it a lot. Maybe I put 10,000 miles on this bike. I'm sure. I'm sure I put at least 10,000 miles. I replaced, I replaced the brake pads and I went to bed the brake pads in. I didn't want to take my time. I wanted to do it fast. So I was accelerating very fast from two, three miles an hour to 20, hitting the brakes, and I was braking in the back brake pads, accelerating again to the max, to the max, to about 20, 25, hitting the brakes to the max, slowing down to about two, three, and again. And I was going to do it 20 times. I got to the 20th time. Literally, I got to the 20th time and I was going to slow down, ride for a couple of minutes, then bed in the front brakes. When I hit the 20th time, I hit the gas to go, leave, go right around, and the motor shut down. On the screen says motor error, said whole error. And I could smell it. I could smell the motor. I cooked my motor. I never cooked it. I never cooked any e-bike motor, but that's that's how you will cook it. And it was very hot yesterday. It's hot today too. Yesterday was 90 something, 95. And the motor was pretty old. I'm not sure if the motor is bad, if the windings cooked or if the if the whole sensor cooked. Because when I turn it on and I give a gas, it turns a little bit, then whole sensor error comes up. So I'm not sure. I'm gonna take apart the motor today and, and see what's going on. These motors come with two whole sensors. Actually, before I take apart the motor, I'm gonna open up the case and just switch the wires to the second whole sensor. I guess if one whole sensor cooked, maybe the second one cooked too. Or maybe that's the reason there's two hull sensors. If you cook one, you have a spare one. We're gonna see now. This is the extra hull sensor, and this is the original one. It had hot glue on it, so when you jump, it doesn't mess up. Let's see. There's an extra wire. Okay, now let's see if it works. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. It was the whole sensor. I can't believe it. They got some smart engineers. Two whole sensors. I have them here to replace them. I bought hull sensors way, way back so I can have it in my shop. The little hull sensor disc broke. But even with e-bikes that have one hull sensor, it's not a big deal. You, well, it is a big deal. You have to take off the back wheel. It's an hour of work. Hour of work, take the back wheel off and put it back on. Uh, to put this on, it's very fast to replace one of these. I never burnt one, but I see I have these break pretty often on uh, Befane, on Befane motors. I used to have a couple e-bikes that had Befane motors, and these would go maybe every two, three thousand miles, maybe even less, every thousand miles. And the gears in the Befane motors, they would go very, very often. Eventually, I found a good place in Europe uh, it was in Finland, a shop from Finland, they sell hardened gears. I ordered those gears for my e-bike and since I put those gears in, I did maybe 10 to 15,000 miles. And that Bofane motor, gears were perfect. That's European quality. Works! What else should we do? That's it, Thomas? Let's mm -hmm. go for a ride. I'm gonna close it up and let's go ride. 